How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So since we are getting close to Halloween and Robert Eggers directed The Lighthouse, I want to talk about his first film that he directed, The Witch. So I know I'm going to get sued, but this is easily my favorite horror film I've ever watched. Yes, The Witch is my favorite horror film ever, and yes, I have seen a bunch of horror films. I love all of them. I love all the classics, but this one is just special to me. The main question I have for myself and that you probably have for me in this video is out of the thousands of horror films out there to watch, what makes The Witch so special? I honestly don't know if it's possible to have a perfect film per se. Very poor choice of words. <laughs> but when I think of a perfect horror film, The Witch comes pretty close. If you don't know, basically this movie is about a colonial family during the 1630s who have been uh, shunned from a local village and they are forced out into the woods and they have to basically take care of themselves. They've been shunned from the village and nobody wants to be around them anymore. So I fundamentally believe that, technically speaking, The Witch is just as good as any horror film out there. So I want to talk about Robert Eggers for just a second. It's crazy to think that this is Robert's first big time movie that he's directed because this whole project oozes experience. I'm not saying this man has jumped out the gate on top, but he is absolutely a director who I have quickly loved. And any project that his name is tagged onto in the future, I'm automatically glued to it. I want to know more about it. The performances in this movie are brilliant. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link, and I can't find a weak link in this movie. And I don't see a weak character in this film. I feel like they all pull their weight exceptionally well. Anya Taylor-Joy is our standout in this movie, plays Thomason, and she's really the center focus of this movie, but the whole cast gives excellent performances. Mark Corvin was the composer of the music in this movie, and he does a brilliant job. He has a great ability to match what we see on the screen as far as tension levels, sadness levels, loneliness. He's able to match those visuals with beautiful audio. So I wanna branch off and talk about the witch for a second. The actual witch. So I kind of have this unwritten rule in my head when you have a monster or a bad guy in a movie, I feel like there's a perfect amount of time that you are supposed to show this bad guy or monster. In case of the witch, I feel like we see the actual witch a perfect amount. If you show it too much, you eliminate that fear aspect. But if you don't show it enough or any at all, you really kind of leave your audience guessing and with not enough information. This whole movie is shot with natural lighting. There are a few scenes that are lit by just a few candles or a fireplace or the gray sky. And I think that's a beautiful touch of this movie, very realistic. And a lot of the shots of the witch itself are very dark. And I think it's a good representation of what you would actually see out in the woods if you were wandering around and you happen to walk across this. Really the main story of this movie is you take this family who need to rely on each other physically and emotionally and mentally. And over time, they start to slowly distrust one another. They start to find reasons to separate themselves from one another and to slowly break apart that family bond and that family trust. This isn't anything new in the horror genre. You know, The Shining was a great example of this. So this movie borrows a lot of familiar concepts and just does it in a unique way that I just so happen to love. Again, guys, thanks for checking in back with the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't watched The Witch, please do. I would love to know what everyone else thinks about this film. I hope you've been watching a bunch of scary movies this month. I have some new ones and some familiar ones. It's always a great time of the year to watch movies. Next week is in fact Halloween. I think we have a couple ideas planned for next week. We'll hope to see you then.